Hi everybody, my name is Naomi. I'm from the Somali Christian TV team. Um, this video might be a little bit of a different type of video, but it's um, kind of like an open letter to Somali young people. So let's kick it off um, by saying, dear Somali young people, I know what I'm about to say might be a little bit controversial, but let's try to do better than our parents. I don't mean that in an offensive way, because obviously we all do love our parents and they mean the world to us, but can we try to do a little bit better than them? We've seen how our country has been ravaged by incessant wars, specifically tribal and even between Islamic sects. We need to try to do better than our parents and rebuild Somalia because we are the future. So how do I plan that we should do that? I think the first thing that we need to try to do is by stopping our focus on what divides us and try to come together in unity. So first things first as well, what inspired this message? Um, I always get really sad when I see fellow Somali youth putting others down. So I've seen this all over social media, horrible comments under Twitter posts or even on TikTok or YouTube. And I just imagine how hurtful it must be for the person receiving those comments. But also it's very disappointing to see that we're really doing this to one another, that we're really attacking one another, that we're really trying to tear one another down. And I personally think that what we should try to do instead is try to practice love for one another. Um, we're all Somali, so that's the first thing. Even if they have a different identity to you, we should all try to practice unconditional love for one another, just as our Father in Heaven loves us. So with this um, love for one another, um, you will need to obviously stop trying to impose your own morals on someone else. What I mean by that is, if you think that someone is doing something that you deem is wrong, um, just remember that that's something that you deem is wrong, um, not something that necessarily they deem is wrong. And if it's something that's not harming anybody else and it's um, something that's, you know, something that's making them happy. So um, say, for example, they're just a different identity to you, like they're, you know, part of the LGBTQIA plus community or they've left Islam um, and they've decided to choose another faith because it's something that's not personally attacking you or it's personally harmful to you. We should just let others be and accept one another for who we are. So specifically to the Somalis that feel like they don't conform to this, you know, image of being Somali, you know, you have to be a Somali Muslim, you have to be a certain way. I just wanted to give you a little bit of encouragement to say that you're not alone. Um, there's a lot of us that don't feel like we conform to that mold. There's a lot of us that feel like we have to fit into that mold to please our parents or to, to be seen as fully Somali, to not get hate from people online. And I wish and just pray that we all just feel a little bit braver and that we can come out and, and be proud of who we are uh, and still be accepted as Somalis by each other um, and, and just, you know, provide love for one another. And with that as well, when others then, the, the people that might feel offended by seeing some other Somalis that are non-Muslim or practicing, you know, like having another identity to you. You can't ever say that that person isn't Somali. We are Somali no matter what, like this is who we are. This is our ethnicity, you know, like that's what our background is. You can't ever take that away from us. No matter what, if, if you don't, um, you know, agree with, with that. With that as well, I just wanted to welcome anybody who is um, Somali, non-Muslim, any other identity that doesn't feel like they fit into that mold of, you know, being, um, you know, Somali Muslim, you know, if you feel like you're, you're being pushed out by the Somali community, if you feel like you don't fit in because you act in Western ways even and you find it difficult to conform to two opposing cultures, even this, this channel is even for you. Um, we want to give everybody a platform to be able to express um, who they are fully, um, whether or not you're Christian actually. So we'd love to even hear your story, if, especially if you've left Islam. Um, just going on a little bit about Somalia and, and like the Somali community, I think we've got a huge issue with our shame culture, which is basically just how we police one another and we, we watch one another and we shame one another and feel ashamed of one another when we're not doing things that are deemed the norm. And I just want us to kind of move away from that and like not adopt those ways of thinking because I feel like they're really detrimental to our growth as, as a people. Um, if we're too busy just policing what each other are doing, we're not we're not moving forward, we're not doing anything productive, we're not, by harassing one another, we're not being productive at all, we're, we're being harmful to them. 
So I think that's something that we need to, to just, you know, get away from. When you see other Somalis in media and stuff and you feel like they're not acting in ways that are what you deem Somali enough, we need to just remember that these people aren't, they're not role models, you know, that you don't have to agree with what they're doing just because they're Somali. So just what we need to try to do is kind of like move past that, that whole sort of simplistic way of thinking, oh, they're Somali and they're doing something that's different. So we need to harass them in order for them to change their ways. First of all, harassment's not going to get us anywhere anyway. So um, we need to definitely rethink that and just kind of maybe just pray for them, move on. You know, think about what you're commenting to someone. Think about how, how you're going to make the other person feel when you might write those terrible comments under their posts or whatever. And think about how that reflects on you as well, what kind of person you are um, when you feel like you feel some sort of satisfaction from bringing someone else down. And let's, let's definitely try to do a little bit better than our parents' generation did because there's so much more work to be done in Somalia. We could all be going back there one day, um, you know, leaving the diaspora and going back to Somalia. That would be the dream. But we're not all able to do that because of our you know, different sort of identities might, you might be condemned if you're in Somalia, you might be even, um, you know, punished by death. So that's not possible for us right now. And that's why we need to come together in unity um, and sort of try to get rid of this constant harassment and stuff on social media because it's just not productive. So final thoughts then. Um, firstly, obviously we need to stop policing each other in each other's sort of faiths or expressions of faith. We need to also stop harassing one another because they're different to us um, and realise that being different doesn't mean it's bad. Um, being different is a good thing and having different opinions about things is a good thing and having um, differences in people is a good thing too because people bring different things and different experiences to our country and our, our peoples. So I want us to all be loving, united um, and hopefully one day return back to Somalia without fear of condemnation from each other and so our children could live in our homeland peacefully. So thank you everybody. Um, I hope that message inspired some of you and if you've got any comments or anything that you'd like to sort of share with us please put that down below. Oh, 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 oh,